one heavyweight and light heavyweight world champion Anatoly Sladky Malikin was one of the many viewers who tuned in to watch the back and forth war between Riyad Riyad, Umar Kane, and Marcus Buchicha Almeida. That pivotal heavyweight MMA showdown took place on August 4 at 1 Fight Night 13, Alisov vs Grigorian, on Prime Video, as the Senegalese wrestling star ultimately walked away with a hard fought unanimous decision. It took three rounds of heart pounding action as Kane handed Buchicha his first career MMA defeat and stepped closer to a potential shot at Malikin's divisional goal. However, Malikin wasn't particularly impressed by the winner, and he came away believing that both men need to work on their stamina to compete at the highest level. Slatki told Onefk. Come afterward. I won't say that Buchicha was any worse in this fight than Riyad Riyad. I think this fight could have been scored a draw. They were both so exhausted, they couldn't even talk after the fight. They have to train smarter and up their cardio, so they don't get exhausted like that. Even though Riyad Riyad secured the victory, Malikin actually believes that Omeda could have won by making some minor adjustments. The Divisional King recognizes that the 17-time BJJ World Champion is only a few fights into his professional MMA career. With that in mind, he still sees Buchicha as one of the most promising heavyweight competitors in recent memory and a likely world title challenger in the future. Malikin said. If Buchicha had a little more experience and could control positions, throw punches without a rush, he would have easily taken this fight. So now, Buchicha needs a little bit of a reboot. He's a very good fighter. He's a legend, and it's not a big deal that he lost. He just needs to pick himself up, get back in the gym, and work hard, and I believe that one day our fight will pack a stadium. With his victory at one fight night 13, Umar Kane improved his career MMA record to 6-1 and extended his current winning streak to 3. Perhaps most importantly, he put himself at or near the front of the line to challenge for the one heavyweight world title. And if Kane is given the next opportunity, reigning divisional King Anatoly Malikin would happily take the matchup. Slatki said. Yes, when it's his turn, I'm ready to accept his challenge. The organization knows that I never turn down a challenge, I never turn down a fight. I'm ready to fight anyone who wants to claim my belt. And if Riyak Riyak is ready, I'm always ready. Let him get in line. Malikin claimed the undisputed heavyweight crown in June with a dominant showing against former title holder Aryan Bula. The two Division I world champion boasts perfect MMA record with a 100% finishing rate, making him the planet's most devastating heavyweight. Brimming with confidence, the Russian knockout artist says that he's the one man every other contender wants to avoid. Ask any one heavyweight. Would you like to face Slatki? And 100% of the answers will be no. I'm on a whole different level compared to these guys. My life is running on a tight schedule, crazy workouts. The best family, the best coaching staff. I 100% love what I do, and I don't sleep up anywhere. I don't slack. Naturally, Malikin thinks that Kane wouldn't pose much of a problem if they are matched up for the one heavyweight world title. He made that point clear with his parting words. Ria Ria has no chance against me. He's very slow, he doesn't breathe well. And I don't see how he can compete with me. He doesn't have the skills to surprise me. He's a regular, slow heavyweight.